Hey everyone, let's continue working on our recursive reusable function for calling Cypress commands until a predicate function passes. We already wrote it, now let's improve it. The first question that comes in is, can we limit the number of iterations? Can we actually stop after 10, 10 attempts or maybe 100, whatever you want? So let's take our function and let's write a function that first just prints the iteration count. So we say iteration. By the way, notice how I like copying code when I'm just writing and experimenting with it. I like copying it so I can play with the same, you know, test case, but different implementation just to see how APIs looks and feels. So I copy it, we have a different implementation of recurse function. Let's do this. So if we want to print the count, let's say it starts at one, then we'll just have a variable k. Every time a function runs, we can log our value and we can say iteration. And again, I like to use markdown bold and we'll say k and we'll say k plus one. So the next time we run, we print two. And it works. Notice we printed iteration one, iteration two, and so on. If we run this again, it passes on the first try. The problem here is that this variable is outside of a function itself. That means if for some reason we call it again, right, the case already has changed. This is a very common problem with using non-local or global state, which is a big no-no in functional programming. We're already doing functional programming. We're passing functions as arguments and we're calling ourselves recursively. So we are doing functional programming. So why do we have this outside global state? Why are we using k that's outside of a function? So let's remove it. Instead, we're going to pass k into the function itself. Now you might say, well, don't I have to then always have one to serve it? No, one could be the default value. So our outside user, when they call a function, don't have to say anything. They'll just pass whatever is meaningful to the user, our function that runs a series of Cypress commands and a predicate function. And by default, that means iteration one. So I'm going to save it. Oh, we have a problem. If we call ourselves and always give a default value of one, well, we always will print one. So what we have to do, we have to pass it. Now, we don't even have to eat, increment this here. We can just increment it when we pass it to the next. And now it's working as intended and so on. Now, if we can do the same with iteration, we can do the same with a limit. So let's say instead of iteration, we'll have a limit. So I'll, I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to say limit. And instead of k, we'll say limit. And what's a good default? Let's say for our purposes right now, uh, let's say three. So we only allow ourselves to iterate three times, call ourselves three times recursively. So we're going to say limit, remaining attempts. And when we pass, instead of incrementing, we're going to decrement it. Right? Because when we call ourselves recursively, we're using or limiting ourselves to one last attempt. So we're going to save it. Remaining attempt. Okay, so what happens when we actually exceed or go under zero, really, in this case? Well, we just keep decrementing. We're actually not stopping. So what we have to do is to say limit is below zero. For a new error. Let's say. Uh, recursion limit reached. So three, two, one, zero, and the next one just throws an error. So this is how you iterate, but you stop when you used way too many attempts. Now our user code can say, hey, I'm okay with, let's say, 30 attempts. In that case, we run the 30 iterations. 